my name. This is for Jean, and this is episode three of Yay. Yarn and Glass. Wait, let's start over. Nice start. Okay, we didn't start over. So I am Mosaics by Virgin on Instagram and on Facebook and on Etsy and on a blog. The blog doesn't get updated quite as often as some of the other things like Instagram. Uh, and I am Knitting Mosaic Madness on Instagram. That's the knitting part of my Instagram. So I have two Instagram accounts. And um, Mosaic Madness on Ravelry. I think those are all the things. So yeah, this is yarn and glass. I said that already. Uh, so episode three. So we're going to do a little bit of knitting. We're going to do, uh, we're going to grout the piece that is um, almost done going uh, far away to Estonia. And we are going to show a bit of an art show that I'm doing next week. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> it's either going to be in this episode or the next one. We're not sure. So we'll see how long this gets with the knitting and the grouting. And there's another piece we did, but I can't remember what it is, but it's, it's going to be here. Okay. <laughs> so we have wine. We're ready to go. Charlie's here filming. Yes, I am. There we go. Okay. First. So what have I been knitting? I have been knitting a lot of dragon gloves. So I have one, two, three, four, five pairs since the last episode. I'm start, I'm working on the sixth pair in this bag. This, I'm supposed to say the bags, I think. Laughing Stitches, cute bag, mm -hmm. with sheep on it. Um, so I played around with the, it's called the crocodile stitch or the dragon stitch, loved my own, because I really like the fingerless glove idea, but I didn't like the patterns that I was trying out. Some of them were, uh, were, uh, worsted weight yarn, so they were heavy and gloppy. So I, I am doing them on fingering, fingering weight yarn. This is chroma yarn. And um, I do it with a, a size F, F hook and a size G hook. So I use a G hook for the beginning so that, so that it goes over the hand a little better and also for where I split for the thumb. I what use the G hook. What do they call dragon gloves anyway? The scale, it has scales. The scales on it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I use um, one ball uh, or two balls of the chroma do, I believe they do three pairs. And then, you know, I talked about scraps last time. You end up with scraps. I, I end up with scraps with everything. But the good thing about these, I think this pair was made totally with scraps. So you really can hmm. piece together some of these pieces that you have left over. So every fourth or fifth pair, I use the I use scraps from here <laughs> to make a pair. And these will be going. I'm doing an art show next week um, with the mosaics, but I'm going to take the fingerless glove and have just a little basket of them. I had them at Art in the Park, and they sold out. Mm -hmm. So it was great. Um, people came and said, here's those gloves, because <laughs> they saw people people were wearing them. So that was kind of fun. So yeah, so the, this pair is in progress. I think I'll have three, I'll have six, probably have eight pairs by the end of next week to take, and then I have some more in um, that we're going to pick up from a little shop. I have them in and Walker. So that's Dragon Fingerless Gloves. Okay. The other thing I've been working on, and the problem with this is, I'm working on two sweaters, and the problem is I like one sw I like working on one sweater better than the other, <laughs> but I'm, I'm really forcing myself to work on this sweater wow. because it's almost done. And this is the Rose Quartz, and it's made with um, Mrs. Crosby's hat box yarn, and it's the actually... Yeah, it's the one that I started when we went to St. Louis, and it's uh -huh. and I didn't um, alternate the skeins, so you see a line, but then I didn't care, and I just kept going, and I'm gonna try it on. I have all I have is the sleeves and the front God, band. Be careful. It's very needly. It's, <laughs> it's very needly right now. I think you're running off the the, the uh, 
stuff too. Okay. I'm running off the stuff. Yeah, the knitting yarn was coming with you it's as you were okay. moving around. It's fine. You can be on the floor. Okay. So I'm going to make the sleeves. Uh, I'm I'm about to stop. I've just been decreasing just by eyeballing it, but I'm going to to start doing the ribbing so that they'll be like three quarter length sleeves. So I'm almost done, and then there'll be a big front band because it's really. <laughs> You know, it doesn't have much of a front, but it will. Okay. So I'll mm. put a big front band on it, maybe an I-cord edging. I put pockets in it, which are very small, but I think they're good enough. And I like the bottom being a garter sweat, garter stitch. So I just need to finish this darn sweater because the other sweater is the one. I'm gonna lay it on the floor. The other sweater is the one that's really fun. Just laid it on the floor, would you? <laughs> There you go. Okay. She has no shoes on and either. This, there you go. Okay. They were in Minnesota. You don't wear shoes in the house. Wearing, that's right. But we do have wine. Okay. Is this going to be, uh, you're going to be able to work and do this thing with all that uh, that uh, wine in you? <laughs> yeah, it's not much. All right. So this is what I'm calling the Mrs. Weasley sweater. It's actually the nested um, pattern, but I'm just striping it. And... I really, it's really fun, and I like it so yeah, far. Pretty, Last time when I nice showed it, looking. it was I just was a little bit into the turquoise, so that's the front. That's cool. And like that's, that. this is the back, and I've split for the arms, and so I've used the turquoise. Um, I don't, I don't know what the turquoise is because these were partial, partial skeins. Uh, mm -hmm. The green is by Stitchin Octopus. Mm -hmm. And um, the black is Black Bird by Hawthorne Kettle Kettle Dyed. The variegated is I don't know, and the gold is Gilt by Manos de Uruguay. So I don't know what I'll do next, but I really this I really like it. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to plan the next color, and I'm gonna I'm gonna you know sometimes use you know continuous color somewhere. So I won't necessarily. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. And so All that right. I'm working on. And oh, I forgot the blanket. You can Hold go on. get it. All right. I'm going to follow her here. You don't have to follow me. Optically and camera wise. <laughs> All right. And there she's so, walking back now. I forgot to put this. I made, I put another square on this blanket. I okay. put the black square on. Yay! Dinner, yay! So that's, the next one well. I think is supposed to be yellow. Okay, so, so that'll go right down there. It'll go under the black. Okay. So that's by the nice. next episode, hopefully I'll have a black one on there. So maybe one square per episode. Who knows? So that's what do you do, do with that when you get it all done? Well, it'll be a throw on the couch, throw on the couch? somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It'll just be a little. It won't be big. So that is all my knitting right now and crocheting. I forgot to say this, but obviously crocheting when I talk Not about Not to me, but it's okay. When I talk about a hook. That means you're cro crocheting. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's all I've been working on these three weeks or two weeks, whatever it's been. So next we'll, I'll put in a video of something else. Who knows? Here, cheers. Cheers. I can't grab the glass with the camera <laughs> my hands. Okay, here you go. Cheers to everybody. All right. Bye. So here's my ankle loom, and right now I have a piece on it that is almost finished because once it goes all the way up to there, and and <laughs> no, that won't work. <laughs> Ooh, that feels funny. Okay, um, it goes when I've finished this piece. <laughs> I can't look at the camera. This piece and it comes around to here, then I'll cut it off and it'll be done. And that will give me kind of a long strip. Um, of these, this little pink and green and white piece. And over here, I have some of the pieces that I've made woven up. Some of obviously I've used, and there are some that aren't even on there that I used all of it. Uh, here's some of my colors that I've been playing with. But I've made cards, and this is probably way wrong, these charts, but it's the way I'm doing it right now until I learn more. And I took each, uh, a, a piece of each uh, weaving that I made, I made a chart to, to uh, warp 
the loom and then so each piece each card has a piece on it and shows the colors that I used and all the way up to and I did that one twice because I used it on one of my frames um, all the way up to number 12 which is the one that's on the loom right now Oops, 11 and <laughs> can't look at the camera 12 yeah so that is I've done 12 of them and that's really fun and I'll show you what I'm gonna use this for so this piece Charlie routed out this frame to you to um, put the weaving into the rounded edge and this I don't think she watches the podcast and if she does I'm thinking that this will be in the mail hopefully before this podcast is up I don't I don't think she does though if we had an exchange student um, how long ago probably 15 years ago uh, from Estonia for a year and she was a delight and when we visited her and her family in Estonia a few years after she left, I took this photograph um, of in her grandmother's garden. So I'm calling, and she just got married in January, and we weren't able to go. So we, I wanted to make her something special. So from that photograph, it inspired me to make her a mosaic called Grandmother's Garden. I'm going to name it, I'm going to translate it into Estonian. And I'm going to put that weaving in, in the rounded edge. I'm going to grout just the background of this. I'm going to leave the flowers uh, ungrouted. I think they, they, the detail of them shows up better when they're ungrouted. So, yeah, and I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to show the grouting of that. Yeah, as I'm grouting it, because I'll tape off the flowers and then grout the edge. And yeah, I'll put that uh, on after this video. So that's the Engel Loom. And I also, well, after this video, I'm going to put a time lapse of me of me uh, weaving on this. So yeah, it'll be it'll be fast speed. I don't go that fast, of course. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that's fun. I, I really, really am enjoying it, and I'm enjoying using the the strips in kind of a different way. I'm also going to, I know I'm going to end up using those in sewing because it'll be fun to put those on, on things eventually. Oh, so there it is. So today we are grouting, and I know I did a thing on grouting before, but I didn't really show the grouting. I just showed the preparation of grouting for grouting. So I have done the prep. I have taped off the edge of this frame, and I've taped off, this is the one with the flowers. I've taped up all the flowers, because I'm not going to grout those, and I've chosen kind of a dark green grout. It's sanded grout, very fine. So I'm gonna put some in the in a little container. A tiny bit of milk milk. <laughs> Holy moly. No milk. Don't use no milk. Don't use milk. Water works. A lot I must be hungry. A little <laughs> bit of water. What I typically do, and see I've done it again, is more water than I need. And then and then I have to keep adding grout. How do you know when you got enough? When you know when you have enough, when you mix it, mm -hmm. and it's like pancake batter. Okay. So now it's now it needs more water. Ha! Huh. A little nice. bit, just a little okay. pancake batter. Okay. So now it's now it needs more water. Ha! Huh. A little nice. bit, just a Very little. Cool. You stir it. That's about 50 right there. Yeah, okay. a little thin. I might add a so tiny bit tiny more bit grout. Okay. Ooh. And I do this in the garage so I have air flow. That looks pretty good. And since mm -hmm. I'm only grouting the background, that might be actually enough. But I have another piece back there, a small piece. 
just in case I have too much grout, which is often the case. So then I just, sometimes I let it sit for a minute or two, but I have found that I don't really have to, as long as it's mixed well. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna put some there, I'm gonna put some there, I'm gonna put some there. And then I'm just gonna spread it around. It's fun. Oh, pretty, you cover the area yeah, real cool. good. Fill in all the little spaces. Go up, make sure it's you better. get all the way up to the edge. Okay. Great looking framey you're using there. That might be a Charlie special. <laughs> and you're we're not gonna put tile in this this oh no, we're putting um Weaving in this one. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. There's another one that we've decided to make this area dark, right? Right. Yeah. And I'll not put in that. and not put anything in it. Okay, so we're trying that. different varieties, but this one is going to have the weaving ankle loom. Right. So then you put it all in here. This is fun. Oh, I wish I could help you. I'm holding the camera. Well, you have done this before. I have. Actually, I have. I loved it. <laughs> I, I actually do really like grouting. Because yeah, you get to see the finished product. and it's like the little kid playing with Play-Doh or something. Or, uh, yeah, or finger paint. Finger paint. That's a better analogy. Yeah. See, I have probably more grout than I need. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Spread it really good. Make sure you get all the spaces. I can always go back and um, put little dabs in places if I missed it after I take the tape off. There's a corner over there. Need some grout. And then once it's totally covered, okay. I'm going to just do a kind of a quick wipe to get off excess grout, but not, not um, really do the final. You kind of have to wait for grout to set a little bit. And what will, yeah, see those spaces? We, want, we don't want Put the those. grout in all the little spaces. I'm going to just wipe it down very gently okay. with a damp cloth just over the, just to get the excess off. So that it dries a little better, especially in the corners. Just smooth it out a little bit, make sure everything's covered. You see, I don't, I often, I'm bad about the gloves. Okay, so we're gonna pause a minute and what I'm waiting for is that to have a chalky look. So that um, that will be, then it'll be ready to wipe down. So we're gonna pause. So I'm gonna pause? Yeah. Too. Okay. Everybody's pausing. Everybody's pausing. Ready? Get set, so pause. it's starting to get a little bit chalky. If you see, especially like on some of these bigger pieces, it's, it's just a little bit chalky. I can definitely start wiping down those big pieces just to get the grout off them. So I'm just going to gently wipe kind of around where where there's chalky chalky parts. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it's still a little a little wet. And then what I often do, because there's going to be a lot of crumbs, I hold it up so that it doesn't so it comes off the picture. layers of I think I can lay it down there. I have layers of paper underneath so I take it out take it off layer by layer when it gets ugly. So if the pieces come off mm -hmm. and they get on the, the wood you can get off the wood pretty easily yeah. dry it. The grout you mean? The grout, yeah. 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 Okay. I can get it off the wood. It'll just wash off. Okay. Especially if you get it right away. So I'm just kind of 
gently shining a little cool. bit, getting rid of some of the excess. Okay, I'll get over here and I'll take a look. Can't really see her all well. But, well you ah, probably can if I do see your this. Head. Okay, now we <laughs> There's light now. Can you see it? It's like a good workout too. So yeah, once you really start wiping it, you can get pretty aggressive with it. Yeah. Because it's not going anywhere in the glass. You after you when you um, glue it. You really should let it set a few days to make sure the glue is really right. set. So there's that. So these pieces are not coming out. Yeah, that wouldn't be good if the pieces came out. And that happens. And I keep I keep glue over here. I can uh, and every now and then okay. I find I find an empty spot that I totally forgot. So I'll run to the studio, get the glass, put it yeah. in, and then gently grout around it. Okay. Or I could do it later. I could add it later, but I just like to get it when I'm seeing it. And when you get to a point, you see the background coming out. Kind of cool. And about now, we can pull off tape. I'm going to want to get in the corners and get some of the okay. excess. So, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's can fun I cover the see. other? Hmm? The other part of it? Yeah, so I'm going to uncover everything. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at that. That is. There's a flower coming. Like, whoa. Kind of nice when it comes off in one yeah, piece like that. So, why again don't you do this to the big flowers? The flowers? Um, cause I think they look more, the pe the little tiny pieces yeah. are more individual, sure. like the difference between this with the grout and that. Yeah. So I want to show them off a little different than the background. I do that often with birds too. I, yeah. especially something I've made, I've made with little tiny slivers like this. So it's just kind of a good technique to use. It shows, you... yeah. yeah, it just shows it the shows detail the better. Oh, that's nice. I'd buy that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. And we're going to give it away to yeah. a very special neat, person. Very special person in Estonia. Yeah, we already told that story. We already told that story. Don't tell us story. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here we go. So then you just do kind of one of the final shines. You can come back and shine it, you know, for a few days. And like right in there, see some grout came in there. Mm -hmm. So that's where the handy dent oh. dental pick, dental pick. Okay, will so come in handy to I'm get. I'm kind of going on an angle here, so hope nobody's seeing there. Oh, there let's you go. do that. They're kind of happier now. They're happier now. Happier. Yep. <laughs> um, so you can get the grout out of there with the pick because it, it went up into the flower, but that's not a problem. Did I tell you, you work really fast. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is this on fast speed? You're on, no, it's on, this is on regular speed. Oh, I, I it's do. It's here with coffee in her early in the morning. Mm. <laughs> All right, there she goes. Whoa. Now it's really shining. It is looking nice. Yeah. And there's a few areas that I'll need to add a little grout to in the corners. And see here, there's extra grout that I need to... Pick that up. Yeah. Wipe off, or actually, I think I need water for that. Okay. Let's get the water over here. Right. I'm gonna get out of your way here. Yeah, get rid of the tape. There. Well, she's balancing it on one <laughs> arm. Well, well I water. usually don't have you here, so oh. you just learn to yeah, balance well. things. Remember, if you have any questions, be sure and uh, let us know. And yeah. if we can answer the questions, we'll make up something. Put so things on the um, comments would be fine. Comments are okay. Comments are great. There. You that's see nice things about along. the frames. <laughs> I have an investment Good. in those things. Let's so. say nice things about the frames. Yeah. Because they're great. They're great. I think the artwork's better though. The frames are pretty cool. 
Look at her go. Huh. So I will come back to this a few more times. And, um, but it is nice. it's close. It's going to need some, you know, extra work with a pick along the edge. Yeah. But it's about done. So, what do you think? I like it. I do too. I like, I like it. it a lot. And we'll show a picture, a final picture with the weaving in okay. it after this video. So, yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm looking at you now. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>